Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. You are looking at Red Dead Redemption 2. It is Friday morning, about 5 a.m. After its launch, I pre downloaded it last night on Xbox One X. Um, watched a little bit of cinematics in the beginning, did a video of that, but it was so boring I had to erase it. So we'll just show some gameplay. Before the game, before we get into any of the gameplay, um, to go into its settings really quickly. By the way, this is a prequel, so if you haven't played the Red Dead Redemption game, this is a legendary title, this is the prequel. So that means you can pick it up and just play it, which is awesome um, and really smart, by the way. Most important of all for any uh, modern title is to have an HDR calibration. What's interesting with this is it says adjust the luminescence so you can see detail in both light and dark areas. Suggested brightness for OLED TV is 300, for LCD is 100. What I'm guessing is they're just kind of saying that OLED is not quite as bright as LED and to, you know, see detail in both. Um, they're recommending 300 for OLED. Um, I'm going to go a little bit high um, simply because. You know, the Sony 900E isn't the brightest of all displays, but that's what you're looking at. So we'll leave it at 300. Um, default is 100. But you can go up to 1,000, I believe. So we'll actually stay with that. Um, but what I like is the HUD. You can literally customize this any way you like. I'm guessing you can pretty much make it look like you want to have just that legit clean screen which is great for those of you that like, like myself that take pictures and put them on Instagram and stuff like that but you want that HUDless um, option it's there Rockstar has always been great with that and they've always been great with audio as well in terms of you know surround letting you you know just customize those just have you know true surround sound setups I think that's always been great Awesome. Anyway, the game looks tremendous, as you can see here. The cinematics had almost a Christmas Carol, Rin Tin kind of look to them. You know, very realistic, but warm at the same time. Really looking forward to the weather being dynamic as well from what um, I understand. Different types of weather throughout the game. Not just day-night cycles, which is something we've always looked for really in gaming in terms of the immersion factor, feeling like you're in a living, breathing world. So I'm, I'm guessing this game has that Westworld feel or what it would be like to be in something like the show Westworld. But you can already see the snow. It is pretty sick. The shadows. I have the display in its standard game mode, so there wasn't any any extra dynamic or advanced contrast or anything. Now, Forza Horizon 4 was any indicator. HDR, for me, in the last few titles, has really been not about more, more color in terms of brightness, but more to tying the image together and making it look real. Forza Horizon 4 looked very cartoony and clean on PC, and the HDR really made the game look real. So I'm guessing it'll be the same thing here, where HDR doesn't really add... Um, just specular highlights, but it just makes the image look more realistic, kind of tying it all together. What's funny is seeing this game, just even this little bit, 
and uh, seeing the, you always see those trailers, and the trailers typically don't look like the game. Two games that come to mind is this one, you know, we have an amazing trailer, which is a gameplay trailer, and then Last of Us. Um, and if there's any developers I'm not ever going to question, it's going to be Rockstar, you know, Guerrilla Games, and, you know, obviously, developer of Last of Us and, you know, those games, Naughty Dog. I mean, some of the best. It's already really beautiful, really detailed, even though you're only seeing just snow. We'll do many videos on this. I just kind of wanted to get this on the video while I haven't even seen it any other way yet. That way, you get our first reaction. And like I said, or if I haven't said in this one, I might have said in the last video, these are the moments where if you're a console gamer, you have to smile very brightly considering that PC doesn't have this yet. So regardless of as powerful PC as you have, this is the place to play. And that's, you know, pretty rare. PC version will be at some point, um, probably it could be a year, it could be in a few months, but... For right now, games like this, Last of Us games that are just only available on console. This looks unreal, by the way. I mean, I'm in the snow. I mean, look at this. Jesus. Go to the shed, press cover. That's your core. Yeah, if I had her, I'm all set, dude. Yeah, do your thing. And the warmth of the house, I mean, really, really cool. Oh, my bad. I'm guessing this is what this thing's like on that. I love this cutscene detail from going from game to cutscene all real time. I mean, years ago when it would just be CG, uh, it would really be daunt not daunting. It would really be a kind of a severe between gameplay and the actual game. I'm looking at a body to my right. Okay, it's a little bit. Oh, hey, my boy's outnumbered. I had to do that, shoot that guy right in the front. Oh, the shooting feels good. <laughs> 